Uh, well, hello and welcome to um, a little video I'm just putting together um, about using uh, Google SketchUp for um, uh, modeling robots. So uh, now it's about two and a half years ago uh, when I uh, developed my uh, first uh, walking robot. And here you can see a little demonstration of uh, uh, what I was able to uh, put together. That's my dog. <laughs> and there's the uh, uh, walking robot. Um, so you can see it's just taking some little steps walking across our living room. <laughs> uh, now, uh, I wanted to improve on this. Um, and uh, I, I didn't really want to build a whole new robot. Um, uh, I wanted to build a prototype it um, in virtual reality and then um, uh, uh, and, and then build it uh, once I perfected it. So uh, what I did is um, I tried using some virtual reality programs and didn't get anywhere. Uh, and uh, uh, mainly because things are still in development and you know waiting for new um, upgrades and all sorts of things uh, and also it took a lot of resources so I used a different source instead this is SketchUp uh, straightforward Google SketchUp with a little plugin called MS Physics uh, which you can see here MS Physics uh, just briefly MS Physics you can download it uh, uh, by the, uh, it's written by the chap Anton Sinit Tizia, I think it is, uh, who is uh, a genius as far as I can see. So anyway, uh, what I did is, um, uh, in, in this you can build real physics um, uh, uh, objects. So just to give an example, so this is an object. Now, at the moment this doesn't do anything, but uh, just uh, for your interest, uh, you can just see if I give this some gravity. Okay, so when you run the simulation, by running this, it'll drop. Yeah, okay, great. Okay. You can see all sorts of other things happening here. These are, uh, uh, as well as that, you could make uh, joints. So you can see here, these are servo joints here. If you click on them, uh, you can actually um, edit their content here. So I need to come out of this. So again, if I look at this again, uh, you can see here. So here's a servo, uh, and if you look at the um, interface here. Uh, you can um, set your, uh, you know, various parts of your server, and you can set um, the control panel uh, programmatically to uh, to control it. Uh, okay. So uh, the great thing about this, uh, it, you, you you may or may not be aware that you can actually um, um, program things within SketchUp, and uh, with the MS Physics, you can actually write your whole software. Uh, the nice thing is you don't, unlike Unity, um, you don't have to then Build all your objects from scratch, or import them. You can all just you can just all have them natively, um, and use them. So uh, just to give you an example, so here's my um, robot here, uh, which I built. You see all these various joints, um, and this will uh, have real gravity. Uh, I mean, I, I actually had this just now um, having gravity, but we'll turn off the gravity. I don't want gravity on this particular object. Okay, and uh, so um, uh, in this case, this this real world object, uh, so this 3D physics object um, um, has a Ruby script attached to it. So this uh, basically uh, runs um, uh, time uh, uh, to uh, you know to click forwards, and 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 you can use that then to uh, to animate um, your 3D object. You can set um, various servo positions, which is what these are here. These are preset servo positions that you can put in and in my program I've designed it so that uh, it's linked to these toolbars and I'll explain that in a minute so I think better just run it to show you what it does uh, so if I click play you see I have a whole load of servo controls here uh, so just to give you an example so uh, these are labeled so anything starting with one is a green side of the body and starting two is the red side anything uh, without a number in front is a uh, is the is this central spinal Thing. So that would be uh, rotation. So just give an example. This is rotation. This of uh, uh, so this is uh, moving in the uh, anterior posterior plane. This is rotation. Uh, you can move the arms as well. So uh, oh, that's not an arm. That's a leg. <laughs> Reset. And, uh, and again. So again, uh, you can move the arms. So I think uh, so. I've started. So this is one, two, three. Uh, sorry, one, two, three, four, five, six. So if we move two, five, uh, I should move the green uh, arm, and two, six should move um, the arm that way, as you can see. Okay. Um, so uh, everything. Ha so I, I programmed some set positions. So if I hit 
uh, my first so this means this is previous position next position play pause for the sequences uh, this is copy the current position so just to show you you can get the servo matrix for this uh, if you click on this it tells you so you can just copy and paste that into the code and it will give you all the um, servo positions for the entire robot uh, so it's just so that, that yeah I mean, they'd be even better if uh, you could actually just save all these but you, you can't at the moment I haven't programmed that part yet uh, but yeah so just to, if I if I lock in the first position so this is the robot bending um, and so uh, then next uh, we could get the robot to uh, bounce on one leg bounce on one leg uh, to start the walking uh, process you tip forward if you can see here uh, next position yeah so then uh, robots balanced it's just to slightly to be for uh, I think the next position will take it back to uh, like a, a standing position again Ooh, yeah. okay uh, slight error there you can see I put uh, I'm, I, I should change that position because that arm isn't quite right to show you how you do that so this would be we said again 25 I think it is oh no 26 so we want the arm to go out a little bit there you are. that's more balanced again it should be um, so uh, yeah, and, and then you could you could uh, run through the positions again. Potentially, this one actually I think will make the um, robot. Oh, actually, I never sent it backwards. I wonder what happens if you go backwards. It probably falls over. Let's try. Oh yeah. <laughs> so we could reset. Um, uh, so uh, hopefully you can get an idea. Uh, with this, you can you can generate uh, walking gates. Uh, and I, I I just couldn't find any other software that would do this. I mean, I presume you could probably do this through some kind of uh, uh, maybe from um, oh, I forget what it's called now um, uh, on, on some Linux software but SketchUp is super fast um, it's actually very easy to program this uh, I think it's far easier th than having to d do it through some anything else uh, and Ruby actually is very straightforward um, uh, and it's actually quite well documented so I'm very happy with uh, uh, with using this and again I'll just show you um, uh, uh, playing through a couple of positions so uh, again as you can see will happen uh, when I when I click play the several positions will update uh, as, as it's playing so let's have a look here so that's a better stop because I think it, it it falls over on the second oh there you go <laughs> but it managed to step about uh, a step and a half so uh, uh, hopefully you get an idea uh, of uh, uh, kind of things that you can do uh, uh, with um, SketchUp and um, you can use it to 3D model uh, animations. Now this is different to the animations you might have in a game uh, where um, uh, actually uh, the robot it, it wouldn't actually have any real gravity or real um, uh, uh, kind of like uh, 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 real world physics it would just like maybe hold positions uh, which is I think what you commonly see uh, in, in a lot of these kind of gaming uh, kind of animations uh, this is different this is actual real physics and uh, you could then uh, uh, put the program the same um, you, if, you, if you built the, the robot and, 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 and put the servo positions in you'd then have a walking robot so um, uh, again, um, so uh, if any of you guys want to develop my Ruby code a bit more, that would be great. Um, uh, I had actually one um, uh, problem uh, with with the Ruby code, uh, and that was um, uh, with the JavaScript that comes with um, uh, MS Physics. Um, uh, I thought it was easy to show you. Um, you can't uh, it, the the update for the slider uh, positions. It doesn't work, so I have to uh, keep destroying the servers and then be re-initiating um, uh, the the, the, uh, the the whole kind of slider HTML and JavaScript, which is um, a real pain. Um, uh, it would be nice if uh, if the if the slider server position uh, commands work correctly. And I think I sent the guy uh, who wrote it um, a note, uh, just saying, please can you fix it um, somewhere? Where is it gone now? History. No. I got nothing in my history. Well, that's no good. Must be the other. Let's have a look here. Maybe in Chrome. No, not there. I oh, recently closed. No, none of those. Great. Well, it's not really that helpful. Uh, 
Yeah. Ah, here it is. So yeah, I think this probably explains it easier than I can. Yeah. So, uh, so again, a Anton, you've made a wonderful plugin. Uh, your slider controls um, kind of work fine, uh, but you can't. Uh, you get an error when you um, try and uh, 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 set a servo control. So this uh, particular, I think uh, this particular uh, Ruby um, um, Ruby um, function set slider value um, fails. Um, so uh, as well, if you just please fix it, because um, then it would make my program work better and faster. Um, so yeah, okay. Uh, so thanks very much. Hopefully you enjoyed this video, and um, if you're a uh, budding um, uh, uh, bipedal robot uh, kind of uh, guy like I am, then hopefully you'll find it um, helpful in, in producing robots. Uh, if anybody uh, can make a really good uh, kind of uh, set of um, servo positions for walking, that would be great. Uh, and all you have to do is um, load them into my script. Uh, so you set what you do, you would, so just to give you an example, uh, if I run mine, I think it's is it already running, I don't know if it is now. Uh, so we would go to this position, I think that's as far as I got. Uh, oh, no, let's try again. <laughs> I shouldn't do that. Uh, so let's try again. I think I was just a bit too eager. We're going to give it that time. So yeah. Okay, so now uh, we're up to here, and what needs to happen is uh, we need to get this guy's foot down and uh, the balance to switch over. So how would we do that? Uh, I think, uh, uh, yeah, I, I think this knee joint needs to pull forward. Uh, this, uh, I think the knee would need to extend a bit. So I said, uh, this knee forward uh, so basically, yeah, let's have a good go. I bet that I'll totally mess this up. But just to give you an example of how you do it, uh, probably I'll do this very wrong. But uh, green, so that's one, two, three. It's the, it's the it's the third joint, I think. So green three. Watch me f make the guy fall over now. Uh, oh, that's red. So you want to extend that one anyway. So, so okay, and let's try green three. So. Oh. Okay, so now you got the idea, but that ain't right. Uh, say if that was actually the good, a good position, which it isn't, uh, then what you would do is you'd click this last button. Uh, it'll pull the servo code for you, okay? So uh, and then you'll just copy this. So right-click copy, and what you do, you'd end, you'd end the simulation. So th that would be the so the fourth position. I don't know something like that. Okay, so what you do then is you'd go back to the actual. So get out of here. Uh, go back to the script. Uh, and then, cause, uh, then we copied the servo positions, so um, I don't know where it'd go. Maybe I, don't know. I think it would be so that that's that's that starting position. That's bending knees. That's tipping onto one foot. That's slightly forward. That, that that's the one where uh, the guy kind of is balancing on one foot. So it would go here. Okay, so you just um, paste this here. Okay. Uh, that look right, does it? An end bracket, so something went wrong there. Okay, so it's, it's this line. So I think probably the easiest thing, maybe just attach it like this. Okay, uh, there should be a closed bracket on there. Oh, that's disappointing. I had to change it, so that should be it. But anyway, you get the idea. So uh, you put five there, uh, probably get rid of oh, six, seven, eight. Uh, if you want more steps in your um, uh, uh, in your sequence, you change um, uh, the number in here. This one. Uh, this determines how many um, uh, um, how many steps there are. So uh, really, yeah, actually, this should be multiplied by yeah, uh, six. So multiply by. Say if you want all um, eight steps, you probably be multiplying by eight. So you put to nine. <laughs> And then eight, and uh, that'll be right. Hopefully, uh, that should. S oh, what have I done? Nine and nine, uh, eight and eight. Okay, and that should probably work. So if we run that now, uh, then you probably get like that that weird position where it fell over. <laughs> you probably don't want that position. Okay, so 
the robot's tipped and move forward. That's the weird position which I managed to like kind of balance. This is the next one which actually didn't work. Whoa! Ha <laughs> ha! Hey, get a little kick, kick. Uh, what should have happened? He should have stored the kick and the other bit. I oh, okay. Well, that's, that's interesting. <laughs> that makes it fall over. Uh, but yeah, you can see whoa, all those positions. Whoa, I don't know why it's flying. Oh yeah, because uh, yeah, and the reason they say this is a bit slow because uh, every time you see these things are being flipped out because of this programming bug. Uh, that's not my fault. It's the guy who developed it. Uh, we need. He needs to fix his his set slider um, uh, uh, um, uh, 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 like function uh, correctly, and then it will be working great. Um, so anyway, hope you like the video. Um,